In this video, I'll show you how to make your game go from this to that. Let's get into the video. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. So I thought I'd show you how to use a very cool piece of software to make Adventure Quest 3D look a lot better. Uh, it adds a lot of things. There's actually a whole list. Uh, and this, is, this uh, software, I don't think we've had official word whether it's allowed to be used, but it's only visual changes to the game. So it should be A-OK, -okay, and probably after this video we'll get a word on whether it's allowed to be used or not. So it pops up a menu. Now, I don't know if you can see this menu on the recording. Let me check that real quick. All right, you can definitely see the menu on the screen. So yeah, this is just a really cool piece of software that adds a bunch of small little effects to the game. Not really small, like really cool stuff that most video games have but for some reason because Adventure Quest 3D is a mobile game uh, you don't really get those effects in the game I don't know why they don't add them to the game it's running on Unity Engine these effects are available for Unity Engine they could add them in as optional effects in your quality uh, settings menu but they don't so this will add them for you uh, manually of course so it does require a little bit of effort to install, but you get all these effects with it. Uh, these are all presets of default. You can actually add even more if you f go online and find different effects uh, to add to it. So you, the effects are basically limitless. You could add to your game. I have quite a few cool effects like FXAA, HDR, uh, Magic Bloom, SMAA, and a Vignette, in, which adds like a little black border on the outside, which makes the game really nice looking. So I have a bunch of really cool effects on right now. And of course you can add or you can turn on and off all the different effects and there's a hotkey to turn the effects on and off also. So it's very, very nice software and it looks really cool if you go to, let's travel to Doomwood, Skullbridge, right here. You can see the HDR really kick in. So the lighting it looks very nice. So if I turn it off, everything gets a little brighter, a little, looks a little washed out. But if I turn it back on, everything gets like a lot more color depth to it, a lot darker, a lot nicer. Uh, in my opinion, of course, uh, visual effects will always be uh, personal preference, of course. But let me show you how to install a software to make your game look a little bit nicer. Okay, if you want to install a software to make your game look better, uh, just Google search Reshade or click the link in the description of the video. Uh, I'm going to go to reshade.me. That's the official website for it. Click download and download the software. Of course, I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna click cancel. Now, once you have it downloaded, uh, either click on it in Google Chrome or find it in your downloads folder or whatever, wherever place you downloaded it to, of course. I already have it installed, reshade 8.0. So it'll open up this little box right here. Now select game. Uh, you have to know where your AQ3D file is. So my current file is in my D drive under Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Adventure Quest 3D, and click on the EXE file and click Open. Now it's going to ask you to select a rendering API. And if you don't know where your AQ3D file is, uh, you can go to Steam, right click on it, go to Properties, go to Local Files, Browse Local Files. It'll tell you where your AQ3D is installed. So if you don't know where it is, that's where you can find out where it is. Now click on OpenGL. It's going to ask you if you wish to uh, download a collection of standard effects from GitHub. You do want to do this without these standard effects. The uh, software is basically useless, so you need to do this. Click yes. It'll start downloading the software. And don't just click OK. Now it's done, and it's installed to AQ3D successfully. Now I have had it failed because of uh, weird issues, but it will install basically every time and if it doesn't just uh, look into your file system make sure everything's a-okay so now you can open up aq 3d uh, by the way make sure aq 3d is closed when you're doing that and you'll see this reshade uh, menu at the top pop up all right so now that we're in game i'll show you how to activate it and how to change the effects and stuff like that so you're in game and you can see on my character right now there's no anti-aliasing or anything on the character's face I actually uninstalled the software for this video now to put you in game, uh, you just go wherever you want to go, I guess, but uh, we can do it right here. So on your keyboard, you're going to hit shift and F2 at the same time. Shift F2. Now this will open up this menu right here that we've of course seen before. I uh, go to click on home and then go continue uh, and then do what it says. Just follow the tutorial, give it a name. I'm just going to give it the name one. 
now you can click through and click some of those if you want but just keep continue and then hit finish all right so now that you're done the tutorial you can actually use the software how it's intended now that you got this thing you can drag up and down these are to change the number of values of the details so I like to just minimize all these because you're not really going to be messing around with this too much unless you want to get a very certain look to an effect but you don't really need any of this stuff with the main thing you need you can just put that all the way down and pull it back up if you ever need to change something is this so the way I like to make my game look better is I put on so these are all optional that if you click on it it'll turn it off if you don't click on it it'll turn it if you click on it it'll turn it on if you if it's got that blue box it's on if it doesn't have the blue box it's off there you go that's how to explain so I like putting FXAA HDR which you can see that just made a big difference in how the game looks right there magic bloom you don't need that it just adds a bloom to the game some people don't like it uh, SMAA which is like FXA except better or <laughs> different and the vignette you can also add other things like vibrant there's a bunch you can go through these and like try out all these effects some of them don't really work with AQ3D others look kind of cool like uh, you can add a black and white mode depth of field uh, different stuff like that like just a really cool effects now just hit reload once you're done all those adding all those effects this thing will pop up at the top reshade 3.0 and it's loading up the effects that you just added and click all right um after you've done that you can go to settings now you can change the overlay key if you don't want it to be shift f2 you can change it to something else and you can add an effects toggle key i'm going to make it that on my number pad so that will toggle the effects of course you can also make it so it shows your fps in the top right corner which is really cool and the clock too if you want to show the clock in game you can have it just show the clock or just show the fps i like to see my fps right up there now at the top right of this box there's a little x you can close it and it's closed and you won't see it anymore now you can turn on the effects with the key that you set if you hot keyed it or you can just go in and manually turn them on and off and that is how you use the software so tell me guys if you can like it or not uh, in the comments of course mine looks different now because i ha have to adjust the uh, values of the effects of course because i mean it looked different but it looks different than when i started the video but of course you can make your game look like basically whatever you want with these really cool effects so thank you guys for watching the video leave a like if it was helpful uh, maybe share it with some of your friends that want to make their game look better and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace